Hello everyone, my name is Min Woo Cho. I would like to start by thanking you for your interest in LS and watching this video. Today we are going to review the pump solution of LS variable frequency drives, which is also known as VFD, AC drives or inverters. For those of you who may not be familiar with VFD, to simply explain, VFD is an electronic device that changes frequency and voltage supplied to the electric motors to control speed and torque. And why do we want to do that? Because by using VFD, we can achieve significant energy saving, reduced maintenance cost, and safe and precise operation for most applications. And pump is one of the applications that most commonly go in hand in hand with VFD because of the benefits and protective features. So starting off with the introduction of our newly added and improved features with H100 Plus drive. H100 Plus is a firmware upgrade version of H100, which is our existing fan and pump dedicated drive. The hardware specs are as shown in the screen. It is available up to 18.5 kilowatts for 200 voltage type and 500 kilowatts for 400 voltage type. Most communications are available as built-in or as optional. The hardware spec is basically the same for H100 Plus and H100. All the PCBs have a Dimex conformal coating on, so it can endure more against uh, toxic air and harsh environment. We also meet the uh, global compliances you may be accustomed to, including all the nine marine certificates. And in 2023, we'll be launching the line of extension up to 90 kilowatts for both 200 and 600 voltage type. Please visit our website or refer to our catalogs for more details on the hardware specs. So um, here is what we added on the new pump focused firmware. And on the right side, you can see the list of the functions we added. And they are all built into the firmware. The main thing to keep in mind is that you do not need any external devices like PLC or any other controllers for the most efficient control for pumps. We will discuss some of the key functions and features in the following slides. So these features are already on the H100 drives and still around on the upgraded pump firmware. Our pump drive comes with RTC, real time clock, and it does support daylight savings time. And you can set up up to 30 different operations, starting and stopping a certain time and day without needing any external timers. If you wish to use this function, please keep in mind to remove the protective film on the battery as shown in the picture below. When the pump clean function is enabled, the VFT can detect pump clock and when it does, the drive automatically rocks the pump back and forth repeatedly to remove whatever that's clogging up in the pump. Some people call this deragging function. I strongly advise to check whether your pump application is okay to go backwards before enabling this function, or you may have to run the rest in the hard way. Soft fill operation. This function is used to prevent pump or pipe damage caused by extreme pressure change during initial pumping. The check valve lamp prevents water hammering when stopping the pump by ensuring slow pump speed lamp down just as the check valve bowl is almost shut. This is kind of a secondary alternative deceleration time to ensure preventing water hammering. Broken belt and pipe detection. With uh, this function, VFT triggers running or trip when drive can assume pipe has been damaged or broken. And how that works is that it uses a simple deviation level. So if the feedback does not get to the set point at full PID output within a certain amount of time, and it is outside of that deviation level, 
the drive will assume pipe is damaged or broken. We also have a flow compensation. This function is used when pumping through pipeline that is long enough to cause a pressure differential between where the water is pumped out of and where the water is going to. It is a kind of simple gain programming in order to provide the accurate pressure feedback value at the end point of the pipeline. Level detection is useful to detect abnormal operation conditions such as well dry, uh, clogging of the filter, broken blades, and so on while monitoring one of the 12 sources. And uh, from here on, we are looking into the features and functions that are improved or added with the new firmware, starting with the MMC, multi-motor control. So MMC is uh, one drive with a motor connected to the output of the drive running variable speed and the drive can have up to five auxiliary motors that will be controlled as direct or line. Uh, but with extension IO option, it can have up to eight auxiliary motors per drive. So MMC is one drive controlling multiple pumps, well as Lead lag is a fully redundant pump system where multiple drives and pumps are coupled and used to operate the optimum efficiency. The system can be fully customized per the application needs. If the master drive fails, the next drive will take over to maintain pressure and acts as the new master drive. Additionally, pump operation sequence can be set based on the operation time, first in, first out, or first in, last out. The lead lag system can operate based on PID control. So whenever the pump cannot keep up with the demand, the next ones will start to operate to meet the demand. Some of the main features included a fixed lag and follow read, where all the drives are running at the same speed following the read drive. And there's also jockey pump, interlock, and alternation. Flow monitoring. This is great feature for applications with uh, flow meters. Flow meters are becoming very popular because there are more restrictions and regulations coming out on how much water you can pump out due to scarcity of water resource, or sometimes just to avoid excessive water bills. We can set up the flow meter as a feedback to the drive and the drive can basically monitor the flow, save the accumulation of the flow, and trigger warning and trip according to the parameter configuration. In the PI auxiliary control, the primary PID control will be the outlet pressure as long as PI auxiliary level is satisfied. When the PI auxiliary level is too low, for example, if the suction pressure on the inlet side is too low, the primary control will now switch to the suction pressure control. Once the PI auxiliary level is satisfied, then it will switch back to the PI control on the outlet pressure. PI auxiliary control can be applied for suction pressure, water level, and cavitation level as well. No flow control. Some people call this deadheading. If all the valves are closed off and there's no flow, then there will be no changes in the pressure. And this could cause the drive not to go sleep for a long time. H100 Plus can detect no flow condition by controlling the output frequency and monitoring the change of the feedback at the same time. Overcycle protection. You can basically set limits on how often the drive can go to sleep and wake in a given time. Some pumps would be freewheeling after stop or even trip due to the downfall of the waters. And typically, if the pump starts while it is backspinning, it could cause mechanical damages. So this is a simple delay time setting on restarting the pump after stopping or tripping. Set point timeout. If the drive cannot maintain the set point for a reasonable time, then we can assume something is wrong. So once the feedback is outside that preset bandwidth around the set point, 
for a preset amount of time, then it could trigger warning or trip depending on your parameter configuration. All H100 drives come with LCD keypad with HOA buttons, hand off auto, which I find very user friendly. But we also provide HMI solution for those who seek even more ease of use. XP Builder, our PC tool for the HMI programming, is very intuitive and easy to use once you get to know it. You can see an example of what we made for Pump application with the PC tool. And the beauty of XP Builder is that it is free of charge, unlike our competitors who are charging thousands of dollars for it. So we briefly looked into some of the key features and functions with our new Pump solution drive. And there is much more dedicated features for pumps that you might find interesting. I'm sure our partners and colleagues will always be more than happy to assist you if you have any doubts and questions. So please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you for your time and listening.